Hello, this is Buttermix from TMI BFX, and uh, today I'll bring you this uh, bonus video on um, on Hip Tricks 4. Uh, I'll I would like to thank everybody that uh, had bought my uh, Hip Tricks series. Uh, I received a lot of uh, nice comments from uh, from you guys that have seen it. Uh, I uh, I'm very happy to see that. A lot of people are enjoying it and uh, are finding uh, finding this series very useful. Uh, I've gotten a lot of uh, email, especially about the demo we did for uh, Hip Tricks 4, uh, and we I did a, uh, some particles at the end for the demo, uh, and that was a request from my friend Chris from CMIBFX because he wanted to make it a bit look a little bit more. Uh, fancy a little bit more uh, attractive and we added some particles uh, after we finished all the recording and stuff so that's why that part is not on the video that was not uh, contemplated to be on, on, on Hiptrix 4 so and I got a lot of uh, email from you guys saying uh, how can I do that I bought it just because of the particles whatever so I uh, for a while I was trying to do this uh, this part of the tutorial and here it is since I delayed the the uh, the this chapter uh, this chapter is going to be free so uh, everybody's going to be able to see it and if you uh, already have a uh, hip tricks 4 you can continue whatever you are left and, and continue with this lesson uh, if you're not if you are wondering how how the hell are we able to do this nice effect on Houdini but uh, buy and go to CMIBFX buy Hiptrix 4 or the whole collection and, and you can be on your way to do this. Uh, uh, if you don't have the the collection or, or Hiptrix 4 you can still enjoy the video and see how how Houdini does uh, this fancy stuff. So this is where uh, this is the the end of the effect. This is already emitting particles from the edge from the edges or, or of this uh, pulverizing effect or termites effect whatever uh, you would like to call this uh, here if I go to this node this is where we left off in the last lesson on on Hiptrix 4 this is actually that file from Hiptrix 4 I just opened the file and uh, started from there so uh, I just cached this geometry here so it's the geometry is kinda heavy if, you, if you've done this you know it, there's a lot of uh, of geometry here so it's kinda heavy so I just cache it to so I don't have to calculate all the the stuff again. So so what I'm doing here is uh, this is where you this is where you left off in the last lesson so it's here and you are deleting the parts that are color uh, red so we are transferring some attributes here color attributes. What I did is I did a branch of this and instead of deleting this the the red part instead of deleting that I'm I'm leaving that so I'm I'm leaving whatever is gonna is disappearing now I'm 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 deleting the rest of it so with those two parts I have it here cached also so you don't have to wait too much time to see it you can see I have this part and and of course this is all the effect animated you can see it it's uh it's that that's the part that's actually being eaten by the termites or or the effect. This is what it's disappearing. So what I did, I have those two parts, and again I just add a black to one side, and in this case, let me just change this display mode to. Let me just change to a nicer frame like like that one. So you can see in this side I have a, I have everything on black. In this side I have. Uh, I have this uh, blue attribute so again I'm transferring the attribute it's the same thing we did and in, in the in in the other part of the tutorial here but we're transferring here uh, from the points that we simulated to the geometry here we're just using the geometry that is disappearing to transfer this blue attribute to the edges of the so just to the edges of the of the car here you can see you have a blue edge there very cool edge and the only thing I'm modifying here in the the attribute transfer tool is just putting this kernel to zero 
just put in the distance 0.1 so I get just the edge of it. If you want a thicker edge uh, or, or want to animate this you can um, um, for my for my scene I just did a, 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 a uh, just a, a little strip I don't I don't need to too much for this effect to work so again I just deleted everything else I'll just left with that so I just cache this again here just color this uh, this is of course it should be um, yellow and you can see this is what I get right so it's just the edges of the of where the effect is happening so that's a nice way to capture just the edges of whatever things you are doing so I've just put a time shift there and shifted by, by one frame so it kinda starts a little bit sooner than the rest of the effect you can see if I if I merge this just so you can see what I'm doing with this shift I'm just moving it in time a little bit so it's gonna be in front of it. if I if I bypass this you can see you can see it because it's exactly in the uh, lining exactly with the edge but if I just put this it's gonna be give it a little bit of uh, one frame ahead of it so if you want your effect to be a little bit ahead uh, that's what I did because the particles might be first eating and then disappearing so it kind of gives him a little bit of a, a lead I get uh, for the <coughs> for the metal and it kind of covers the edges a little bit better so once I have this geometry here then I just go into a pop net this is very simple stuff very very simple uh, in the in the final scene I did I just recreated this scene uh, uh, to show you guys what I did, but in the final scene, I, I had a few more notes here to control the, the, uh, control the disturbance of the, of the particles and stuff. So I just put a, a source note here, and then I'm just going to uh, shoot, shoot off the constant activation. I don't need constant activation. I'm going to do impulse rate, and uh, first change this to surface random, so you don't, so you, you are. Emit for all from all the uh, not from points but from the actual surface. So there you go. That's the uh, just put this to white frame. And it's the same thing. It's okay. So that's emitting particles and how much particles it it's emitting is I'm just taking sorry how many points I have uh, the total number of points. And dividing them by half because uh, it gets pretty high. Uh, I think I had a lot of particles in the final scene, so you you go in and and test your particles and see how much particles you want there. Uh, also, the other thing you want you want is yeah you want to cover the the area very good, so you need a lot of particles. Just divided this by two too, so I can keep navigating this. Um, the other thing I did here is uh, I put the life expectancy way low because if not your particle is just going to be living forever and 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 that's not going to be that's not going to be look looking as cool or it's dependent of, of what what uh, your effect needs. So another thing is uh, I just added a force uh, put the particles if we go up and uh, put some noise on them, you can see I'm um, emitting particles. The particles are going up a little bit, and then they are they're totally blue. You can color them. I, I think I, I added a color here. Let's, let's just add it. Uh, color. Put a ramp on them. Yes, there's a lot of particles here. Yeah, you can see this is getting slow. Uh, it is six thousand particles. Not not as much, but it's it's getting slow. So you can control the look of with maybe life, and uh, just tweak these parameters, and and have your particles start started. In this case, start like a little grayish, and then go to black to white. 
just depending on what you need. You can see there, if you want more black on the edges, just add another one here and just move it up so it just stays more uh, more time in the black side. Something like that. I think black is not the best color here to show you that. So let's put it to green. And there you can have green at the start and, and, and when they are go up, going up they're going to white. Oh well, that's kinda what I did in, in mine in my effect. You can see that's that looks a lot better. Uh, then if you go back, I just cook this. Of course this is not gonna be cooked. And uh, just merge those with the car here. So you can see now I have two passes, the one I had cooked here and one there I just made green now. So you guys you can see there's particles emitting from you know, smooth shaded particles emitting for the from the areas that are being eaten by this by these uh, termites or these uh, weird insects that eat cars. <laughs> so uh, let me just uh, see if I'm missing something else. I don't think so. That's it. If you want to, uh, you can see that's that's cool. If I just remove uh, file five. There you go. See that's cool and that particles are emitting from the edges of where that's happening. And of course if you have some interior in your car the effect will be look much cooler than than this uh hollow hollow car here. So the other thing I did is just uh after I'm I have these particles I, I, I always render my particles separately. So I have all these particles here. I'll just use this guy because That'll be faster to to work with, uh, and I just set out particles. And if I did like in this case, I did my particles here uh, in the same part where I did my my geometry. I can um, it's another new. I can separate it separate it now, or separate it later, or at the beginning. I, I'm sorry, out geo. So this is gonna be the geometry. I'm, that's what I'm gonna see in this node, and this guy I'm gonna put in another, in another uh, node. So this is my geo. I'm gonna create a new geometry node. Go inside it. Delete that. Uh, do an object merge uh, into this object. Just go here and import that node that I, that we. That we rename. That is the output. Come on, there you go. Uh, it's an in my car out particles. Just put that. Put select that one. You can see I have this particle separately in one node, and uh, all the parameters are here: velocity, acceleration, whatever. Uh, so now, what I what I can do is just name this out part particles. And I can render this as uh, as points. Uh, where is it? Render as render uh, as points. Uh, and uh, you can use the uh, velocity blur. And you can render the these particles have motion blur and stuff. Render those things separately and have your own particles pass and uh, composite it on top of your geometry. You can also use your geometry to uh, to math your particles, whatever. That, that that's simple stuff. So, okay, that I think that's it. Uh, if you, uh, I'm gonna put the video at the end of this, so the the uh, final thing, so you can see it again. And uh, hopefully, if you this answers all your questions, this is how you add particles to the edges of your car. You can do uh, a lot of stuff uh, to the edges, maybe uh, drop some pieces to the to the ground, whatever. So it seems like um, the termites uh, are just missing some parts and that fall into the ground, or something like that. Uh, 
so that's it I hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope you if you don't you don't have uh, hip tricks or any of the volumes you can go to CMYBFX and, and get them and uh, I hope you enjoy them and I hope you, you have more questions for me and I hope you are uh, uh, I, I'm gonna uh, answer those questions uh, very soon. <laughs> uh, so again, that's this butter mix for CMI VFX. Thank you for uh, watching, and I'll see you later. Cheers. Let it go.